Hello and welcome to The Root of All Real Estate. I'm your host, Etienne Meller, owner of three real estate agencies with 20 plus years of experience generating over 20 million in yearly gross revenue. I'm very happy to have you join us today. Whether you're a seasoned real estate agent, a business owner, a first time home buyer, or just curious about the latest market trends, we've got something for everyone. Now let's get started. You're listening to The Root of All Real Estate with Seujan Kanishalinga. Remember the name. So, my buddy. How you doing? <laughs> I'm so excited today, man. Really? So much to talk about. So much transpired over the, what, a year? Two years? Almost two years. I mean, right? if I go back one year, you've got... I'm going to throw big names now, but we've got what? Ryan Serhan. Yeah, not even a year. Uh, well, the podcast came out in September last year, so it's been a year. So there you go. And then, and then an even bigger name, if I can say, sa- say that, with all due respect to Ryan, but for those that don't know, Patrick uh, Bet Davis. Yeah. Davis? David. David? Who is he? Let's explain that, because I know everybody knows who Ryan Serhan yeah, is. But, uh, uh, Patrick B. David, he, he, he's an entrepreneur, a business owner, businessman. He's been in the business for more than 20 years now. Uh, he built an uh, empire in the insurance business. In the insurance business, yeah, which is big money business. Big money residual. It's not like uh, real estate. It's, no. kind of different. <laughs> it's uh, huge. 50,000 agents across uh, the whole United States. Comes from nothing. Come from, comes from nothing. He's immi- an immigrant. from. Uh, I think he was born in Iran, but he's uh, half Syrian and half Armenian. So he came when, uh, when he was like 10 years old, and got into the States. You know, built this whole thing with, yeah. uh, I mean, it's impressive. He, he also wrote a book not that long ago. Uh, Plenty of books. He wrote uh, like a couple of books. But yeah. the most recent one, I forget what it's called now. Shoot it's Enemy Wisely. Is that the one? Anyway, I read one and it's, it's pretty interesting, pretty fascinating. Great podcast. He has uh, 5 billion trillion followers. Yeah, he got, he got a lot of followers. <laughs> he had the president, future president. I'm gonna, no, Donald Trump was on that just yeah, right after yeah, last, uh, week. last week. Last there week. There you go. So let's start from uh, what? You want to start with Brian? Like what? So first of all, y- how do you even t- approach someone like that? And yeah. this is what I admire from you. I you do not shy away you're not scared to approach anybody it seems anyways and i love that i mean the the just already that's so much says so much about who you are but how did you approach ryan great question man so basically uh so the 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 reason i got in touch with ryan is because of pbd so really yeah yeah yeah. (laughs) Uh, so the story is i uh, i bump into pbd in miami south beach like i had a just by fluke just just out of, out of nowhere like <laughs> i was walking down the street and i've been consuming his content for more than a couple of years now he does he gives out like a lot of good yeah. content on marketing on sales he used to do those big long videos where he talks about like hey how to get how to win friends how to influence people yeah if you're stuff. not following him on uh, on on uh, youtube uh, i think it's like well everywhere but youtube is a great platform he's to follow a, him on d- he's a great teacher right so I've been following him, and uh, I remember, like in the morning, I was having a breakfast with my fiance, and I told her about, you know, about Miami South Beach, which is a, a famous r- uh, road, yeah. right, street, and I told her, hey, we we never know who can who we can bump into, right? I told her that in the morning, and then later at night, she she wanted to go shopping. I hate shopping. <laughs> she convinced me to go. It's the best decision in my life because right after when we're walking down like we we're walking back to the hotel i see a big tall dude and in himself him. with two of his boys like they're having a family time so that's the first time i in- encounter patrick bedivit and i scream hey babe that's patrick bedivit you know so that was a special moment and you, so you got to talk to him then? i had to talk to, I, I i talked to him for like 20 30 seconds okay, i was okay. so stressed right i wanted to, i wanted to talk about many things yeah and also, in but, that, but in you didn't want to disrupt either his family time. Yeah, I guess that's like pretty it. much it. That's yeah. pretty much it. I was so mad at, my, at myself because you know I'm the type of guy who always try. So I, I wish I could have stayed a little bit longer, like keep them a little bit <laughs> longer. But I saw the I saw the boys. They were not. They were not. They weren't really happy about the, the yeah. co- conversation. So we. So I left. I left it there. But I was so mad about myself that I wanted to ha- have a, a deeper conversation. So I said, and I wanted to ask him for a podcast. That's the whole, right. whole reason uh, why I was mad. So you know what? I said, you know, uh, I was looking at uh, on his social medias. He was organizing an event the same week. 
And oh, there in Miami? Yeah, my, there in Miami. Okay. But I, w I was living in two days. His, con his conference is in three days. I told my girl, babe, like, I'm, 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 I'm open. I'm open <laughs> to, like, push the date. Bring your friends so you can, you can in enjoy Miami by, your, by yourself. <laughs> You know, uh, <laughs> so I, we spoke to our friends in Montreal. They were super down to come to Miami. So my friends came. They were po they were like you know like visiting the city. I went to the conference and stayed there for like three days. What it's was the conference about? Like was it just a it sales? It was or? a sales leader summit. So all the salespeople they like to go there. It's a high ticket conference as well. Like the minimum ticket is like I think five k. Okay. So so you got a ticket? Did the three days? Three days, yeah. I learned a lot, I'm sure. I, I learned a lot, and uh, just crazy. After the conference, I got from, I went from zero uh, agents to like I think five, six agents right after. You know, it's always mind blowing, and you always learn stuff, right? And uh, and I was telling in the cold conference, I was meeting people, and I said one day I'll have PBD. And imagine having PBD up like in front of like 300, 400 people, and there's this guy who's saying crazy stuff like having PBD yeah yeah, yeah. They, didn't it's, it's they didn't really take me seriously and I was t I was trying to have uh, I, I was trying to like make friends with all the people that, that of that course knows PBD and I told them hey put me in contact with PBD I would really want to talk to him and this there's this guy who helped me a lot he said hey listen buddy take care, like uh, chill <laughs> I'll, I'll put you in contact like they, when there's gonna be a moment a good moment I'll, an opportunity I'll, an opportunity, uh, I'll speak to PBD and you will have this chat and I remember like it was really hard to talk to him because imagine 300 people wanted to talk to him but like, doesn't he have like a uh, bodyguards or an entourage now, of some now sort he like? has bodyguards yeah now he has bodyguards in that time four years ago like he was he was dabbing into politics but not fully okay so he was only a businessman in that time um, so the last day was there was a basketball game like it was a basketball game and uh, uh, and there was a moment I finally got to talk to a PBD and I asked him hey why don't we do a podcast together and he asked me this question. He never says no. He's the type of guy who doesn't say no. But no, he, he listens to the uh, to the to, to whatever it is the the the, the, the opportunity potentially. 100. Like I feel grateful that in, in 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 present day, people come to me and ask for this, ask for different opportunities. So that's one of the reasons why we we work so hard because, like when you started, like you what you had to go to ask opportunities. You had to go through the, for the opportunities now. At, at your stage, you receive those opportunities. Well, I right? still, I still ask. I mean, still I mean, ask <laughs> at the same time, you get those. But yes, right? you will get more opportunities. Of 100%. course, obviously. So I'm the type of dude. Uh, he's also that, that type of guy. So he, he was listening to me and he asked so me, "How many subscribers you got? How many what? Subscribers? Like how many uh, on on YouTube, on YouTube or, or, or yeah, YouTube. okay, okay. I, I didn't want to answer that question <laughs> because I had like thousand in that time. I here's what I said. I said, "Hey, listen." Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you weren't ready for this question. You know, I weren't but, ready. Uh, like I, to be honest, like I was just excited to ask him that question and see how we how we respond. Obviously, there's more chance that he says no at that level. But you never know. You gotta. But ask. you never know. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I said, listen, I have the biggest podcast in Quebec for brokers and realtors, <laughs> which is true. Which was true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had uh, the number one podcast in that time. But uh, here's what he said. He said, get to a million dollars per podcast. And we'll do the we'll do the the thing with you. Uh, doing so. That this is what four years ago. Three and a half. Three years and a ago, half around there. I got excited. I'm like, you know what? I'll make. I'll, I'll, I'll do make it. it I'll, yeah. I'll make it happen. Come back to Quebec. I think about the, what he said. He said a million dollars. Wait a minute. In French. Talking to realtors and mortgage broker, I'll never. Do <laughs> it's almost <laughs> impossible, no? That's impossible. Just with the with the re the potential reach. Yeah, it's but it wasn't impossible. just in French. Were you just like I was dabbing into bilingual, like English, but, but it was mostly fully, French. Like you, you were one of the first that I spoke in English. In English, okay, okay. So now I said, okay, no, that's not gonna work. I need to find another another strategy, and and that's that's the moment that when I, I when I was thinking about doing an event, and I said, you know what? If I can get him to a podcast, I'll invite him to my event. I'll pay him so people pay yeah. to have access to him. But I'll have a special connection. I'm the one who bring him bring him to Montreal. I thought of I thought that that was a genius idea. You know, I said, well, you ideas. Know I mean, it's uh, it's it's. Uh, but I know I think I think I can see where you're going. But I'm gonna let you. So what happened <laughs> is after that, right after I had that idea, I called the right hand, the uh, PBD right hand, Mario. 
uh, had I had his number because of the conference, and I called him. Hey, listen, Mario, I want to have PBD. Never been to be to Montreal, second largest city in Canada. It's a big market there. There's a French. Yeah. It's also a French market, so he can dab into that market as well. A new market, a new, new market. reach. Yeah. They said, yeah, that could be interesting. Uh, he costs hundred fifty thousand dollars U.S. If you want to bring him, I'm like, no problem. I didn't have the money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But for, this I'll is for an event, though. This is for an event, right? Today. Same for an event, Three, five hundred thousand dollars US. God. So he went that big. He said, "Okay, no problem. Well, if you have the money, we'll make it happen." Have you ever done a conference before? I never done a conference. Not even my, not even in front of thirty people. Yeah, people. Right. I never organized an event. Hear what he said. Hear what I said. I said, "Listen, I, ne I never answered that question." I said, "I have the biggest team. I never, I have the biggest team. So don't worry about it. I'll make it happen." He said, "Buddy, if you never had, if you never organized an event." We can risk it. Like imagine bringing PBD is pretty big these days, so it's going to be a, re a reputational risk for him. Yeah, like he, he, there's a room of 500 people, you only have 200 people. It's not it, it even look, though he's getting the 150 uh, fee. Even though, even though it's still not brand. It's not good for the brand. It's not good for the brand. He said they said they're not going to do it. That pissed me off, and that's how I got in touch with Ryan because I was I had some contact in the states. I knew the organizer from different events in the States. I asked them, and there's one guy who put me in contact with Ryan because I was telling this story about like, yeah, I want to get to PBD. And then, and this guy, this guy is like, hey, if you want, I can put you in, in touch with Ryan. You like Ryan? I'm like, Ryan who? Ryan <laughs> Zerman. I'm like, oh shit, yeah, buddy. What can, what can I do for you? Right. Don't worry about it. I'll put you in contact with Ryan. Because he already brought Ryan in San, San Francisco. He knows he knows pretty well, pretty well Ryan. Though, so he put me in contact with Ryan. And, and Ryan filter was much Easier, mm -hmm. I guess, to, to a certain extent. But also, at the time, you're primarily focusing on real estate anyways. No, like your audience is primarily was, real estate it was the best. It was the best fit yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, I was more, more focused into, uh, in, in real estate. And, and Ryan, Ryan was more known in real by estate. anybody in real estate yeah. than Patrick Bed David. 100%, 100%. So it, it kind of made sense. It's, it evolved into... Uh, so, so what's the first communication? How did you get to... Didn't you go to New York to meet him? Or, yeah, that's, or that's, that's I, after. That's after. Okay. Like after the... After, after I, I signed the contract, so basically um, I spoke with the uh, Ryan uh, team, the, 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 the one who were responsible for the event site. I, I came prepared, it was a Zoom call, I sold the city, I sold the vision, I sold uh, the story behind. We never had a conference yeah. like this in Montreal. I think people will love Ryan, a lot of, there's a lot of people who knows Ryan. And he said, okay, let me talk to Ryan and let's make it happen. And they did their verification. I, 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 I guess they saw my social media. I was consistent. I was yeah. sharing stuff. And they said, okay, if, you can, if you're able to pay uh, the deposit, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're okay. If you're here, it's because you're taking your career seriously. And Ted Meller will help you get to that next level as long as you're willing to do the work to be able to get there. Now, whether you're a divorced person, whether you're retired, whether you just started out, you know, you might be young, you might not think that you have what it takes to get to the next level. There's something here for everybody. So he'll take the time to show you the ropes, looking at it not as a teacher versus a student, but more as a partnership. And by doing that, you'll be able to get the results that you're looking for. He's always hands-on. He's always willing to do the work and to show you how it's supposed to be done. So it's not an opportunity that will last forever. Take the time, click below, fill out the form. Follow us and find out how we could be instrumental in your success. From that time where your first con first contact with the team to the actual uh, event, what was that uh, uh, length of cycle time? Like, like a couple of months, a couple of... What do you mean? First contact you make with the team? Yeah, it was uh, maybe in um, October. No, no, sorry. We, we, we made the podcast in September. So maybe July, June, July. Oh, so it's fast. It was very fast. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 didn't have, I didn't have a date. I didn't have the venue. I didn't have anything. I just had Ryan. Once Ryan is closed, <laughs> and it's on the book. Then I'll find the venue. I'll find other people around to make a conference. Uh, but I knew that if I have Ryan, everything will come easy after. So you're learning... At the same time, so you're doing a new, it's a new thing to do an event and to, 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 yeah. to, to make it that size because yeah. it's a big, it's a big yeah. project. Your, your first kind of, let's call it uh, known, better known, bigger name yeah. to book. You, what, you know, what are you learning here? What did you learn? Like the, because you must have made some mistakes. I mean, it's almost impossible doing anything that big. There's going to be some major surprises no yeah there's, there's a lot of mistakes that i have done like obviously it's a biggest big stage 
um, from you know the managing the whole conference. Are they helping you at all? His team to kind of you know what guide what, you or what, surprisingly like whatever you put on the contract they'll do it, but not but nothing else. Okay. Like, like let's say we share. I, let's say I share something about Ryan. They're not gonna share it. Like I don't know if Ryan is seeing this. So he's a, he's the one who's managing his social okay, media. Okay, okay, okay. They're not gonna really. Do so it's it really. Whatever you, but, who, but and drafting the contract, I mean, you, you, you can't think of all the things that you may want to have in the contract before you do it. I got better at it. Right? Yeah, now if you do it again, yeah. for sure, I mean, you're, you're adding some stuff or you're negotiating certain things. 100%. Like, the, like I just signed a contract last week up for, the name, for my next conference. And I already have the the main speaker. Can we say who it is, or we can't? Uh, we can't really say it right <laughs> now, but it's gonna be announced very soon. But he's pretty big as well. Okay, uh, <laughs> he's he's crazy. So yeah, now I know what what exactly I want. Uh, so you learn through the process, and you know, um, at the end of the day, I had a good team behind me, right? So I was very confident. But it's 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 something that I never done. So I was going somewhere where you know. I, 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 I just knew that if I do the things correctly, yeah. it would just happen. It was going to yeah. work out. And it yeah. did work out. <clears throat> and let's talk about, you know, the, 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 the what you learned. Like, what's, the, what's the, maybe the top three things that you're like, you know, either from him or from the actual experience? Yeah. or It's super hard to sell an event. Super hard. It's like sell, selling insurance. You know, it's, you have to create that need. It's a luxury, right? Right, so yeah. mortgages, mortgages, and, if, if and especially rich. sorry to interrupt, but especially at the timing of it, you know, like, you know, like the, 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 it's not been that easy in real estate over the last two or three years. Percent. So uh, if we were negotiating negotiating the ticket price, yeah, you you, you hit know, it uh, yeah. at a at a at a hard time, like, <laughs> yeah. I hope like the good thing about me is that sometimes I just take action before before thinking. <laughs> oh, I love that. I mean, I, I love that. You know, so, you know, uh, so there's a saying that, you know, great leaders, the great leaders, the great sales guys, they they take action commit. And, uh, and after that, they commit after they think about like, how they can make it happen. The mechanics. I always say that. Let's just, what's the intent? Yeah. Never mind the mechanics and the, 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 the minutiae, the details. Yeah. Let's see if we can sell the tickets for the thing, and then we'll worry about how we're going to do it. You know, hope like one of the one of the benefits that I had is not knowing what I, <laughs> what, where, I, where I was going. I didn't even know how how how's the market is going to react. All I knew is I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it happen. You know, no matter what, I'm going to make it and happen. And you did, man. And, and I did. And that's yeah. quite an accomplishment. Yeah. Thank like you. I appreciate it. So you know, selling an event is very hard. Meaning, like it's a luxury. So you, so you need to create a story. And I didn't have any facts. I didn't have any proof of concept. I don't have any pictures, neither no videos at all. I never done a conference, so it's all about all into all all into all in the the details of the story, right? The story was, hey, we never had a conference like this. Usually, we go out to see other conferences. Why not happen here in Montreal? So that was yeah, kind of. Yeah, I'm bringing it to you. I'm bringing to bringing it to you. So that was kind of the the, the storyline, and um, uh, you know what. Um, after and especially selling to realtors and mortgage brokers, that's another st that's a story. That's another story. I understand <laughs> that part <laughs> all too well. <laughs> you know, they, and the, only the last week it ha it's crazy. I knew it. Like people told me about it. Like in on, in the event side, on like the last week, that's where you get you get the most sales. Okay. But it was so stressful for the from from day zero to like up until the conference because. The ticket sales they weren't they weren't moving fast, and that's I had to pay. I have to pay people. I have to pay the venue. I have to pay Ryan. I have to pay Daniel G. I have to pay so many people. So in the contracts with such a, a, a personality, let's mm -hmm. put it that way, is there a limit, a minimum amount of people that have to be sh to show up? Like you said, like Patrick, uh, but David said, I'm not, oh no, not him, but someone in his team said, if it's not, uh, if there's only, a, you know, I don't know, half the room that shows up, then it's not good for his brand. Did yeah. he, did Ryan have such a clause? We or told him that he's going to be around 1,000 people. So I don't know if if I said 100 people, he would be down to do it. Okay, so they didn't say to you at any point in time, hey, uh, what's the number like? Or yeah, but it was already always on my on my sales script, the 1,000 th okay. people, right? So I, I didn't really give the give them the chance to like it, told, to tell me, hey, 
we have to be a certain amount so of do people. you get to sit with him and discuss uh, pick his brain like not just do the actual event itself but yeah. just on I don't, I don't know is there time for you uh, to just sit and chat and he's, he's a pretty chill person yeah like he, he uh, when you work with him he gives you the time that we need and uh, I had a I had a plenty of moment where we were like just together uh, from the airport, uh, we we uh, rented a limousine to go pick him up. Uh, to pick him up, to up to until uh, up to the uh, the, uh, the venue. Uh, when I did the podcast, he gave me more than enough time to just to have this podcast to, with him. So the, all those moments together, it was plenty of plenty of moment to talk to him. The, so someone's watching right now wants to see this. This is all up on uh, on, on your YouTube, uh, YouTube yeah, channel YouTube. and most of your social. But you can learn a ton. I mean, how long was the uh, actual interview with uh, Ryan? Ryan was around forty minutes because we messed it up uh, those are the mistakes <laughs> that we like, because we had cameras and all this stuff but the cameras weren't working mic weren't working okay okay and i was kind of super su like you could see it in the in the on the podcast i was sweating <laughs> but you still got 40 minutes of value here yeah 40 and so i mean is there things that uh, that someone can learn i mean they're watching this i'm sure they're learning he's, something he's, he's a realtor he sells houses till today and that's what realtors like to watch you and know? think and talk about. You know? So uh, there's a moment I told you about before the podcast. Uh, uh, there's a moment he's, he was looking at his phone because he was <laughs> ringing. And there's a moment he said, man, give me a moment. This freaking realtor, he, she does, she, she, she's keep calling me. So he was kind of, you know, in, in the transaction. So uh, that's kind of funny, you know. So um, Ryan is still in the business. Compared to PBD, he's working on the business. Right. right? He has a lot of people that works for him. That do well, it's sales. a different. It's a different. Uh, he's Ryan's like the the, the, the technician, uh, yeah. the, the the guy in the factory doing the thing. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it's like it's really hard for him. I think he mentioned it in different podcasts. It's really hard for him if when a billionaire calls him and hey, I want to sell this property, he can't really send someone else because they want Ryan. When he's the brand. He's the brand. Now he now I know he, he has an agency now, Sirhan. Yeah, uh, that he's uh, he's trying to push so he can get out of the business. Yes. But there's a point where he, he can't really say no to a. If Jeff Bezos calls to me just tomorrow, yeah, and he has he has for Ryan, he has to go there. So the conversation then with him was different, obviously, than uh, with uh, like what's the, what like you, you said, uh, uh, Patrick was more about working on. Like the bigger stuff, I guess. No, yeah, he, Patrick is more on the business. We were talking about like leadership. We're talking about uh, managing a team. We're talking about like politics, a little bit of politics as politics as well. He's uh, he's very big in politics. We're talking about more in in the values and the in the principle of how to be how to be a, a, a better man. Not so for you, and I, I mean, I'm just throwing this, and you can correct me, but for you, I guess you got way more out of the the Patrick interview. No, uh, well, I, 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 I'm not dismissing the the, the, yeah. the the technical stuff, but I I can say that I had more experience when I when I was arguing to PBD because now I already met a star, you know. No, I know that they're they're still humans. Mm. You know, I met I met him in person. We shook hands, so it was easier for me to to talk to PBD, uh, and I was a greater fan of PBD, meaning like I used to consume like Pat Ryan was a uh, 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 coincidence. I wasn't aiming for Ryan. A byproduct. Uh, exactly, exactly. So uh, I, I knew Ryan, but I was always aiming for PBD. So now I got in touch with Ryan. So I, I learned a little, bit, a little bit more about Ryan and all, the whole his business and everything. But yeah, it was. So all player. of this you're doing, you're getting great visibility. It's all through social media, mm -hmm. obviously. You've been on the social game more than anybody I know. You've, uh, you've been building your channels, your, your different platforms. We we're talking off camera that uh, you know it's the consistency, it's the it's the not quitting part. What makes you not quit? Because you did this and you're still doing it, and it's uh, it's a lot of work. Like this is not even your it's not your source of revenue per no. se in a direct way. You know what I mean? Like you're 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 a mortgage guy. You yeah. you're in that world and you do great there, and then you're doing all of this other stuff. Yeah. which is a lot. Like yeah. it's insane to, to just the event stuff and the. How do you just keep going? Like, what's the what's the drive? I, think I, lo I, I love the I love the game. I love the game of uh, podcasting. I love the game of meeting better. Yeah, better but what? People. Like, what is it? Is it the the, the views, the the, the growth of the channel? I the just I recently had had to, I recently experienced the views. 
like when I interview people, nothing to, nothing bad to say. It's just a smaller niche. So you get 2,000 views, 2,000 views, 15,000 views at max. If at all. But, <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah. You know, when I got to interview PPD, I went to up to 200,000 views and it's still counting today. So obviously it's like an, it's a new adrenaline, you know, right? It's a, it's a new adrenaline. But um, it's a new high. It's a new, it's a new high. So when you did that interview, that's not that long ago uh, that you put it up, right? Yeah, it's, be, it's less than a mess, maybe two weeks. And then you were saying that it took at least like like a good two days before two. some some traction got the views got up, yeah. bigger. And yeah. from there on, uh, do you uh, can you ta can you feel the the impact or not? I'm, yet? I'm sitting down with you today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the only reason. Why. No, no, no. But I mean, do, do you, is it tangible yet? So 100%, or no? like, it's yeah. 100 percent. Like it's tangible if I do anything about it. Right? If you let, if you let that go. So what do you do about it? Like, what's so the, what, how do you reuse getting, this? It's because getting, there's a big expense here. Uh, uh, it's not an expense. It's a big investment. Mm -hmm. And so, how do you? So go bigger. Extract. Go bigger. Go get get this momentum going. Get a, get better, bigger people. It's really hard to get anything bigger than PBD unless you go for Trump. Yeah, uh, I'll get. I mean, there he's one at day. the top there, so <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. so what's can you share a bit of your? Hundred percent. Like your it's get to get other other good good people, good uh, business business people. Uh, I like I like books, so I'm going for authors. Uh, that's kind of that's definitely uh, 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 something I'm, I'm go aiming for because you can learn so many things about those people. Like Rob, Robert Kiyosaki is one of them. Those yeah. kind of guys I want to aim for. And now that I have a good resume, I'll be, I'm able to. Well, like, it's have easier to, to, I guess, approach the team or these people or the, 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 the credibility every, thing. Every, everyone has different ways, like how they want to get approached. Sometimes you just call email them and surprisingly, so they're the one who's responding. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, just, um, you know, it's uh, co founders of, you know, big companies like Netflix. I'm aiming for that kind of, that kind of people. That's on the podcast side. But also uh, in, in my business side, you know, I came from nothing, right? Um, um, I was born in Sri Lanka. I came here when I was eight. I was stuttering when I was, uh, when I was little. I, 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 I got bullied when I was little. So uh, I just learned that every, every time I put the effort, mm. I was having i was having some results I, I was seeing some results yeah but not fast though not fast but you know i the, I, I remember the, uh, in my teenage years you know i was so bullied that i know i don't i spoke about it once in a podcast i was so bullied that i had to change school so i made the decision i haven't even told my parents that i'm I, I, that's the reason i'm changing school i told my parents i'm changing school because uh, I wanted to go to um, to uh, to a spa, to basket. Yeah, but yeah. it wasn't the, that wasn't it, it, the real, that wasn't uh, the real reason. The, the real reason was because I got bullied, and I was I was kind of I was a chubby kid. I didn't I wasn't working that time, so parents were they were the one who was buying all the clothes for me. So I wasn't I, I didn't have the best clothes. Right, 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 as well. right. It was like a vicious so you know circle. What? Uh, summer, I decided to go to the gym, hit the gym every day, thread, uh, on the treadmill for like 20, 30 minutes, like running really fast, uh, dropped the weight. Bought new clothes because I was working as as a as, as a cleaner at Zuki's. You know, there's a restaurant called Zuki's at Marche Central. Uh, I, I made some money. Bought new clothes. You took charge. I took charge. I went. I changed school. I made new friends, and I and it's crazy how everything changed. And I thought of it. Okay, that's because I I took action. I I, I didn't let the the life. Decide so there was no and, and there was no outside influence no to that. I mean, I, there wasn't the influence of the the being bullied and not, not liking where you're at. But I'm saying there was no inspiration of someone you to. Know, to I, 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 I was always into like watching videos on YouTube. Like I didn't really have any inspiration around me, but it didn't stop me to get that inspiration from outside, like on the on on the net. These today, if you wanna if you wanna. Consume Tony Robbins. You can go on YouTube and watch yeah, Tony Robbins. You don't have to go there. Mm. In the 80s, 70s, I'm sure it's, it was harder. You had to go into books, something like that, right? Yeah. So there's no excuse. So I was consuming other like content like this, and they always said, if you want to change your life, it starts, it starts within you, right? If you don't like the environment, you can change the environment. Because you gotta have so much persistence to do uh, the the social thing to to even get a bit of traction. Yeah. And so, I mean, I know, I, I know, uh, you know, I talk to, I have brokers, I talk to a lot of brokers and they, they, everybody quits. So, like everybody's quitting because it's too hard. It's the, yeah. And everybody says to me about social when I say, you know, I use, I love social, not to consume it, but I mean to use as a vehicle. 
the they everybody says it doesn't work it doesn't work it doesn't work because you 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 stop you quit you you you're too impatient that's why i'm always curious to when i find individuals like yourself that just don't quit you just don't quit the reason why is i had a hard life right my my childhood from my childhood to teenage years it was pretty hard my parents they always gave everything that they could they could they have. could yeah. they could they weren't, they weren't rich parents neither. Like, you do, till today, they have a dépanneur on Rosemont, seven days a week, oh uh, eight, okay. 12 hours a day, uh, changing shit from, from my mother to the dad. So They always had the... the uh, they still have today. Okay, uh, so you saw your, your parents do the seven days a week, seven nonstop, days a week, so they were, holidays, doesn't matter. That doesn't matter, no. Okay, Christmas, okay, okay. I didn't have Christmas. I didn't have any, any holidays. They, they were always working. If there's a... If there's if we go going somewhere in somewhere like Toronto, it's usually we go to Toronto because we have family there. That's pretty much our trip. That's the vacation. Uh, here and there, every four years, maybe five years, maybe we go to uh, Italy or UK or somewhere like that because we have family there. When when we go there, we we stay with, with the, the family. family. We don't really go see stuff, right? So because of those reasons, I and I saw that every time I'm taking action, I had what I wanted. It's like a drug for me. Mm. So now. Nothing is. Nothing can stop me. Like, well, now you're challenging yourself. Now you know you're like, okay, what else can I do? What else can I 100%, do? Hundred percent. That's the high. That's a super high. That's like a drug. When when knowing that, with with the way you can achieve anything, now I have PBD. Like imagine how how my mind thinks now. I'm unstoppable. I want to know what the next thing is. <laughs> <laughs> you can't share nothing. Come on. No, there's gonna be there's gonna be elevated part two, obviously in 2025. Okay. It's gonna be bigger. It's gonna be larger. Uh, we're we're go aiming for 1,500 people. Okay. And the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna be smart about it this time. <laughs> so we're not gonna reach only for the realtors and mortgage broker. We're gonna reach the whole real estate. Okay. So it's gonna it's gonna be entrepreneurs, business owners. I was just gonna say, so anybody that has a a, a business could benefit, can will benefit from uh, the, the 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 line of uh, of real uh, estate. Uh, uh, yeah, real estate business owners, anyone who wants to learn about real estate, sales, marketing, prospecting, values, you know, the whole game. So that's gonna be fun. That's, that's gonna, gonna be, be super cool. fun. Yeah, I like that. So we're aiming thousand five hundred people. I already signed the the the, the main speaker. And now it's uh, you know making sure that we, like we take the right steps and uh, that you that you apply <coughs> what you've learned on the other events <coughs> on the other event to to, to make it uh, a tad uh, well a tad to to improve on the things that maybe were it's gonna be uh, easier this yeah. time right like I don't have to prove to anybody now that I'm I'm capable of doing an event and so money will we will be easier to. I want to talk about social media again because I know this is a big thing and uh, I see it in real estate. No one's using social to its real full capacity, yeah. if at all. I think we're re really using it. Uh, a lot of people watching, a lot of the brokers, people in the industry are, are using maybe 10% of its, of its capacity. How, do, how have you seen it change? What do you see change? What are the trends now? Is there things that you're like, okay, I got to adapt, change, tweak? To, to, to stay uh, relative and or to keep growing or yeah that's a great question listen I'm trying different stuff I'm always trying new new ideas um, uh, there's a there's a moment where where you know the trend trend the trendy stuff to do is uh, taking a hook from a video mm. you know where this guy drives a yeah. motorcycle and he falls yes. and then you pop jump in and you talk about like boring stuff mortgage stuff yeah so I used to do that um, I'm still doing the podcast, so you have to do so many things because if your if your goal, what I like to say to mortgage brokers and realtors is, if your goal is to become the next Joe Rogan, then my friend, the, you're a you're it's gonna be super hard. You you have a long way to go. Yeah, but if your goal is to make business out of social media yeah then it's super easy i think that's good that you're talking about that there's a big misunderstanding mis misconception about being an, an influencer versus using the platforms for yeah. your for your whatever you're doing in your business you don't need the five billion trillion followers f if we're talking about real uh, real estate brokers and or uh you mortgage to brokers to to use and to see that the power of uh, social can bring you uh, to your business. But you're not selling anything. You're not selling a pen at ten dollars. So you need to, like a, millions of followers to be able to sell that pen, right? You're selling real estate. You're selling a high ticket item. 
right? So one sale can bring you twenty thousand dollars up to fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollars. And it's so local. I'm sorry. It's local. And it's local. So all you have to do is become the most known guy in your city, in your local area. In your community. That's all you need to do. That's As right. a realtor, well, what I would do is, you know, you know, like interview all the business owners in the in the in, in your street. Well, that's what area. I'm doing now. That's what you're doing. So right what now. you're going to start seeing is me with the business owners in the community. I've I've pulled the ten thousand businesses in the West Island. I'm going to start with uh, we're, we're started, but I haven't put it up yet. But that's exactly what you what you're suggesting because I've been saying it the brokers, but I don't. No one's doing it, so I'm like I'm going to do it. People people think that I'm an influencer. Maybe accidentally I became an influencer, but the initially my whole reason why I got into social media is not is not to get. As the, the 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 most followers as possible is to get no, business. You, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, as a as collateral, if it becomes, then great. But that's not you're not using social to to be the next uh, Joe Rogan, Joe, yeah. or Joe or whoever it is that uh, you you guys follow or like. Now I think it's possible. Like now that I got. Well, why go, not? I mean, if yeah. you keep on going. Hundred percent. Yeah, 100%. yeah, yeah. But the original thing, and the and I think most could stop at the just being seen locally and nurturing the relationships with the local communities same and game. their network the same game at the <coughs> top level the same game so basically once you get uh, uh, the, the 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 biggest guy on the street then you get easier to get the other guy but then uh, the, free, the bigger guy that you met in the first place, <laughs> you, you had a podcast with him and it was much easier to have him on a podcast to ask him for a business. And then you, you build that relationship and then you can, you can ask for any referral, and any business, any If complaint. you study this guy, if you go see, like what did he do to start on social or to the, the beginning? Like I, I know, see what you're talking about, the business owners, if, I, if you're a realtor, you did with real estate brokers. Yeah. Agents, brokers, right? Yeah, 100%. You did the podcast to interview them because you're in the mortgage game. And you're like, well, if I showcase them, if I give them the visibility indirectly, yeah. I get to be known. I might get the business. And you will because you're, you're known. And that's how it, you know. Well, in the first place, when I started this Lico Studio Quebec, which is now Elevate Podcast, now we're because we're going international, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's the mindset, of course. <laughs> yeah, because uh, last, like, when I was talking to Ryan about uh, the podcast name, he's like, "What? Le Côté de Quebec?" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of funny. Now it's elevated podcast. So what I what I realized is, you know, when I when I started five years ago uh, as as uh, the podcast, I had no contacts. Uh, I was very young. Uh, just got out of my position as an assistant for uh, another broker, mortgage broker. So I'm really in the business f for the past four years, I will say. Totally but that's what's years. amazing. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, by myself, four years. And I, I, I asked myself, how can I get more good relationship out of realtors and mortgage brokers? My business came from mortgage brokers as well. So I got, so that's one of the reasons I got uh, a podcast where I interview mortgage brokers and part and realtors and the whole idea is I can learn from those guys yeah like if I ask Etienne to give me an hour and I was uh, I'm just coming in as, as a realtor as a mortgage broker like Etienne you're too busy you're busy you value your time so you won't really say yes and unless you have something to to gain, gain from it from it right which is the visibility and which the was the visibility I, I was one of the first to in interview like realtors and but mortgage where'd you get that idea like uh, you, is, was there someone uh, that you saw doing it and you're like, hey, this is a good idea? Yeah, so I, 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 knew, I saw some, I saw content in English for mortgage brokers. I was listening to it uh, while I was studying to become a mortgage broker. I'm like, what, what if, I, if I do it in, English, in French? There's, is, I had a blue ocean Yeah, yeah, me. yeah. So I started doing that. I, having an hour conversation with Etienne or Georges Badajoz, Patrice Mena, obviously I'll gain a lot. And on top of it, I'm sharing with everybody else. And then it's going to be easier for me to go to George after that and ask him, hey, why, why won't we work together or something? And like you're that. smart because you then offer the guest, hey, do you want to put a bit of money behind it to promote? <laughs> but it promotes you at the yeah. same time. Same. Yeah, 100%. You know, like, <laughs> it's genius. It's, you know, it's like, genius. I think podcast is very, it's a, it's a great model to build your business of real estate. But those that say, look, there's a, uh, everybody's doing it. There's a million of them out there. Who cares? Right? What, what's your opinion? Because on that's, idea? if your goal is to be different, is to get to Joe Rogan level, then maybe set, saturate it. But if your goal is to bring business from the podcast, build relationship, 
you don't have to think about you yeah. don't have to think that that much and forget right? the views forget the views forget all of that stuff about the, the the performance of it doesn't matter you'll still grow your business i uh, you know think of think of podcasts to build relationship with people that are harder to get and right? who doesn't want visibility Where in business it? i mean like who who does will say no to that so i mean that's great other than the podcast thing what else do you see or could say to brokers whoever's looking at watching that's in business or wants to get more business they should do is there a platform you prefer is there uh you know, know what i have this new 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 idea that came in uh, recently do events no do events but that's a big endeavor man like yeah. that's that's uh well, you don't have to do, to do to do an event of 900 people you could do a, an event of 10 people 20 people 30 people right because once you're able to talk in front of 30 people you sell S the the same stuff you're selling to one person on a one on one meeting, yeah. you're doing it in front of 30 people. If you do a first time buyers seminar, then you're able to bring 30 people. Oh yeah, yeah okay. And then eventually, like those people, uh, once once they're th they're ready, they'll that's like the old school way of doing yeah. it. There's there uh, Grant Cardone. He has a he has a whole conference about how to bring people on the stage. So he teaches people. Well, he's, are, a, he, he's a master at that. <laughs> I, listen, recently I went to, uh, like, I was in Toronto, in Toronto this weekend, and I went for that conference. So he was collaborating with uh, Seth Ferguson, who does the multifamily conference, big conference. Yes, yes. I think Mike went to that uh, last year. So he collaborated with Grant Cardone to do this small event, which had around 100 people. And they all paid, like, at the end, I was looking at the boots, like, it's the, the sales boot. They all paid, like, $20,000 to learn on how to become better at uh, on like building a stage. That's crazy, right? It's insane. Insane. It's insane. So if, you, if you're able to build, like if you're able to build your own conference, it could be small conferences. What about the, doing the conference, but uh, adding, adding, and this is what Grant does and is, I think is genius. See, Grant, what I like is that I, you know, I, I consume, but I study him more than I consume his things. Yeah. I see why. I ask myself, why is he doing that? And then he repackages everything. So he does one event, but he packages the whole thing into about a thousand different products with no. one event. I don't know if you're doing this already, maybe you are, but you know, taking that event, but doing it also on the digital side of things at a lower price as a subscription, as a stream, as a you know, later on discounted kind of video package I buy in. Did, have you, did you do that or uh, I, well, are well, you like, doing there's, it now? There's going to be a different part. Maybe that, I shouldn't talk there's, there's going to be different parties at my, at my next conference, obviously, okay. because I, I learned so much. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to share. Uh, something else I will do is if you want to talk about digital, digital self, digital stuff, I will definitely do webinars. You know, webinars are super easy to do. You're sitting in, in front of your computer. I love that. All you, all you have to do is promote it for a month, and boom! Like last time, I was looking for private lending funds, right? Yeah. So because I, I'm a private lender, so I have funds that I manage. I'm like, hey, uh, I want to get, I want to get to know more people so I can get more funds. So the I, I, I made a webinar about how to become a private lender. So you reach out to people that are curious about how to become a private lender, and those people have funds that I tell them, hey, it's easier to start with a guy like me who have experience than like investing your $100,000 somewhere we don't know how the whole product works. You know, there's a lot of risk associated to private lending. So, so I taught them of, of, on how to become a private lender, the whole value- Through a there, webinar. Through a webinar. An hour webinar. At the end, I'm like, hey, listen. By the way, if you're if you want to start, if you have some kind of funds, um, if you're if you're if you're legally um, legally accredited, uh, how do you say that? Acc accredited. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, accredited. Then we can work together. And boom, I had 100 people on my webinar. I'm and surprised that the, the, yeah, there's not more than 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 the, in real estate brokers, mortgage brokers that do like you said these webinar conferences about buying, about selling, about financing, about, about the whole process, about this to that. It's all on demand. I built the studio there for that reason. Super nice I could studio. sit there, go use a StreamYard, do the webinar, repost it, repackage it, watch it when you want at this price, which is cheaper because I already did it. Like yeah. It's one time recorded. You can do it live. You can do, like it's. It's crazy. There's so much stuff. So you're doing when you do these things. You do it. Uh, you target the world, or you always pick geographically. Let's say you do a, a an ad campaign, 
through Meta, you, you're going to do Quebec only? You're going to go Depends North on America? I'm selling. Depending like on, on what I'm going to go uh, national or international. Like I'm going to target states because I want this, this, this event to be a, uh, a destination event every year. So people from across all, all yeah. around the world come see the event, especially like in Montreal. It's a, it's a nice city, so they will enjoy the city as well as sure. being... What about the selling event. the how to do it at, le at, at your level? Uh, Have you thought of that? Like doing like a webinar saying, you know, your first event, you want to think about this, 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 and that. Like, you know, doing, uh, selling that. <laughs> like, listen, dude, you know what? Like, <laughs> there's so much stuff. You, you're, you're limited in time, too, I guess, at some point. You know what? It's, it's crazy because there's so much, so many ways I can make money. Monetize. Right? I can monetize it. Um, I'm getting there, but, you know. Let me I'm be your like, agent. I take 10% of everything. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, I want to do it the right way because last conference, I haven't sold anything. All I wanted to do is making sure that people loved it. Yeah, but it's like a business. You know, yeah. you know you're not going to be Maybe profitable. Maybe I, I lost a quarter of a million dollars. But you can't I, look at it like that. Be, be, but, but the reality is... No, no, but is, I mean, it's an investment. I don't see it as a loss. It's like any new product out, or any new I'm service. I'm not talking about the, 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 um, the whole conference was a loss. I'm talking about the loss of business. Because oh, if I yeah. sell anything, sure. if I sell anything, uh, like a conference, a mastermind, whatever, mm -hmm. like at $5,000, you know, if, I, if it was a convincing product mm. where I can bring values, I lost so much money. Even what 10% who bought it out of 900 people, I would have 90, 90 people at $5,000, right? But I, didn't, I haven't sold anything because you know why? Because I wasn't into money. I will, all I wanted to do, maybe it's, a, it's something... But now the second one, you're going to do that. <laughs> You know, we got to act smart. But what I'm saying is I wanted to make sure that you, the whole conference, it's a success. And I, wanted to, I didn't want to sell anything uh, that I wasn't convinced. Yeah. yeah I, I no, no, you want to you wanna put your name to, 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 to something or a product or service or something that's not 100% what you believe in, trust and know. And 100%. So for, for me, uh, like if I... If, the people that I bring, the, 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 the product I'm selling, it's very important for me to like that I'm convinced that it's a good product and yeah. I don't want to rush to build a product in a, in a matter of a month to sell it, you know, and after that, you know, it's not... It's Disappoint people, or uh, have your name, disappointed. yeah. It's a high ticket item, so it's easy to like, you know, risk to, uh, to blame your... You well, know. I'm excited, man. I'm excited for the future. I'm uh, so happy you came and shared all of this with, uh, with everybody here and with myself and the team. I, uh, can, I, can I say that anybody that buys their next ticket through me or uses my name gets something? 100%. Can I don't we know do, what... Can we do... <laughs> <laughs> just mention me when you do the acquisition of the whatever and you'll get something. Hey, definitely. <laughs> I don't know what's going to be. But <laughs> we'll figure it out, but you'll get something. I it's something it, of value. Thank you for, thank thank you for the you. invitation. Really appreciate it. I hope you liked it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Boom. We're done.